I'm Blaster here and today we're going to be talking about Dragon Ball Super once again and like I said I'm back with my reviews and I'm going to be reviewing the Future Trunks arc today and man was it amazing I, guys I just can't man Future Trunks returned today finally in episode 47 I mean that's what I'm reviewing today episode 47 and it was just totally amazing the way Future Trunks appeared man I cannot explain to you guys how cool it was Future Trunks uh, appearing and making an appearance was just crazy this episode is my favorite yes i'm saying it new favorite episode and it's future uh, this episode today episode 47 i mean it took a turn of events for super like super's been all happy even like in the tournament against hit and everyone it wasn't really that you know dark or anything like it wasn't like it didn't really feel like serious i mean all of them are kind of like nice guys so it wasn't really anything like we never really had an enemy that was like a big really big threat like beers was kind of training goku and then uh, uh golden visa was kind of like a joke because like Goku and uh, um, uh, Vegeta could beat him like uh, like you already knew that Goku and Vegeta could beat him like in a second if they wanted to. So it was always kind of a joke, and uh, that's one thing I really like, you know. Now that in Super that we're getting this, where you know uh, we ha finally have an enemy in Super that's not a joke, because Golden Frieza was a joke, and then Beerus was you know not really that of a big of a threat. He's not really bad or anything, and. Uh, Black Goku, Black Goku, man, he was, man, he's one of my top favorite 10 characters now, like, just seeing him, and we haven't really seen him in action right now in this episode, but just seeing him, like, his entrance was so amazing, he came in the fire, the fire moved, and then he, you know, he shot Maya, and Maya, I don't know if she's dead or not, but it was just cool, so in this episode, we get to see, you know, in the beginning, we get to see Future Trunks as well, right off the bat, and Future Trunks is running, you know, what we saw in the preview, and then, he goes to Boma and we actually see Boma. And looks like Boma hasn't seen him for a while, maybe a year or so, because that's how much long she's been working on the fluid. And now we know that's the fuel for the time machine. And he's like, "You haven't changed, Mom." So they haven't seen each other for a long time. They're kind of cool, like how back in the old days, Future Gohan was always away from his mom. That's how Trunks has been away fighting Black Goku, I guess. But you know, it's kind of cool to see Trunks in action. And then you know, the uh, the really it really gets real with like Black Goku. He kills Boma. Yes, he kills Boma. Uh, you guys got in this review by knowing. I'm sorry if I didn't warn you guys, but I'm pretty sure you knew already. There's gonna be spoilers for episode 47 in this review because this is the review. And man, Black Goku when he killed Boma, it was just amazing. I know that's kind of dark, like I've said before, but man, that just really got serious right there. It turned Dragon Ball Super totally. Like he just killed Boma. He snapped her. Like he just snapped her. He uh, blasted her, and she just like just turned into pieces right in front of Trunks' eyes, but Trunks is a man now, he's not a kid or anything, little kid, he is like 27 or 29, something like that, and he knew that he had to run away and go to the past, it's for his own good to save everyone, and then he goes and we see Mai, and then, you know, I still, they'll still explain how he met Mai, but, you know, they kind of talk, Mai and him are friends, I guess, because they're like sitting together eating food and stuff, and, you know, Mai's, uh, and then Trunks, the cool part, this is one of my favorite parts in the whole episode, probably my favorite part of, the, my favorite part is Black Goku's entrance, but this is like one of my favorite parts out of the episode where yeah, Trunks actually remembers the past. He's like, he's like, yep, I'm gonna go back to the world I've gone a long time ago. And you know, he he's remembering like Super Saiyan 2 go on and everything. And the last time he saw his friends in the past, and it was just amazing. I just like that part. I don't know why, but I just I just really like that part, guys. I don't know why, but that part just was touching to me. I don't know how to explain, but I really like that part because he's remembering the past. He still remembers everyone, even Yamcha. He even remembers Yamcha, yes, because they showed Yamcha in that part. And uh, the thing is, he remembers Gohan. That's one thing I'm really excited about. He remembers Gohan as being Super Saiyan 2 and being really strong. So is he going to like, you know, when he sees Gohan, is he going to kind of like be like, really, what happened? But overall, we saw Trunks' episode and then Black Goku's, I'm just going to say Black Goku's entrance was the most exciting part of the episode. It was his hype how he came and then he's like, I finally found you Saiyan and now it's uh, when, you know, final, your final battle is going to be here today. And then, you know, he just, he's just cool. Already my favorite character. Let me know what you guys thought. I totally thought this was episode was amazing. 10 out of 10. Totally crazy, man. Black Goku's entrance was just hype. Like, the, his clothes are so hype. He, everything about his hype. And we got a new opening, which is pretty cool. And it looks like Trunks and Goten, the kid Trunks and Goten are actually getting the spotlight, too. Uh, and uh, Kid Mai and Pilaf are actually getting the spotlight, too. But that's it for me. We actually kind of saw the past world, too. It was pretty cool. Just we saw them, you know, with uh, Goku and Vegeta right next to Wiz and uh, Beerus, and they were on his planet training actually. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Peace out.